you're using a lot of effort to put yourself in that position, you're doing it wrong. The reason why that position is correct is because it's the easiest, most comfortable way to sit on a horse. That's better with your seat, with your hinge there. You'll be able to see it on the video. Good. Yeah. Okay, and walk. Yeah, if you break from the canter, always walk or stop. Don't let him go trotting off. Slow the walk, slow the walk, slow. And now slide your leg back and canter. Giddy up. Better. And then soften your hands and push your belly button forward. Feel as though your belly button is pushing your hands forward. A little touch of the leg, a little touch of the stick. And then again, get the feeling of just lifting up and then right into the canter, go now. Yeah, that was super. You feel how nice that was? Good, that's okay, hands up and right into the walk. Did you feel how wonderful that transition was? Yeah. Because there he really did come up in front. Did you feel it? Yeah. The withers came up, not the, the pole. And, and that, that was like a, a, a proper transition. It needs some polish and some other stuff. But that's what a, a proper upward transition is. The horse comes up from the wither and steps into the new gate. As you get better at it, as you both sort of figure this out, you'll do less and less with your hands and more and more from your seat anyways. And he'll start to understand what's coming and, and, and so everything will be easier for both of you. Now you need to slow the walk, slow the tempo. Now shorten it a little bit and now you can go. Just right leg back. Yeah. Okay, that was fine. He got, he got off on the wrong leg. Slow, slow. Lift. And more. Slow. All right, yeah. Good, and walk. Long, okay. And then long rain. Go to the buckle.